In this video, we will be highlighting the importance of infielders allowing a throw on a tag play to get as deep as possible before catching and applying the tag. During the Major League Baseball game between the Tigers and the Marlins on April 6, 2016, the second game of the season, the Tiger catcher throws out D. Gordon, but he doesn't get all the credit. Throwing out a runner stealing is a team effort. Gordon takes about three and a third seconds from his first movement to hitting the base. The catcher needs about two seconds. That leaves one and a third seconds to complete the pitch as well as the tag by the second baseman. First, the pitcher needs to deliver a fastball quickly and high enough. If the pitcher takes too much time, the catcher can have the quickest pop time in Major League Baseball and still not have a prayer. Second, the catcher needs to have a good glove to hand transfer. Often coaches focus on the footwork, but the feet can only move as fast as the hands and the transfer. Jared, the catcher, makes a spectacular transition and an on-target throw. Finally, the fielder, either the shortstop or second baseman, needs to receive the ball at the last possible moment and apply the tag. In this case, everything worked out perfectly for the defense. A higher pitch would have helped some, but everything else was flawless and they still barely caught him. In this video, we are focusing only on the fielder receiving the throw. In youth baseball, Often the player will catch the ball out in front and then make a tag, but the ball will always travel faster than the arm will to make a tag. If the throw is on target, the key is to catch it at the last possible moment, letting the ball get as close as possible before the catch and tag. You see clearly in this video that Ian Kinsler gets himself to the catcher side of the bag. This is important when the second baseman is covering on the steal. If he stays on the outer side of the bag or straddles the bag, it's going to be a nearly impossible to receive the ball with a runner in the way. Next, Ian, seeing how the throw is right on target, waits until the ball is within inches of Gordon before catching it and finishing the tag. This is how you receive a throw to any base when you are making a tag play. Always allow the ball to travel as deep as possible before catching and applying that tag. Youth coaches should practice this with their players that are more advanced. This isn't a skill we teach new players or players still working on the basics, but if you have higher level players on your team, this is one skill that they will want to begin to master as inches can mean outs versus runs and wins versus losses. <laughs> 